Hare Krishna. Welcome back to video for the day. This is Sankarshan Das Adhikari speaking to you from Iskon, Austin, Texas, USA. Today we're going to look at a wonderful verse from the Upadesh Amrita. Text number seven is an amazing verse. Syat Krishna Nama Chaditari Sitapya Vidya Pitto Patapta Rasanasya Narochikanu. Kint Vadarad Anudinang Kalu Saiva Jushta Svadvi Kramad Bhavati Tadgalamula Hantri, which means the holy name, character, and pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna are transcendentally sweet, just like sugar candy. Although the tongue of one who is afflicted with the jaundice of a vidya ignorance cannot taste anything sweet, it is simply wonderful that by carefully chanting these sweet names every day, a natural relish awakens within his tongue and his disease is gradually destroyed at the root. Pretty powerful stuff. We've been caught up in the cycle of birth and death for thousands and millions of lifetimes with no escape. But now if you take advantage of the holy names of Krishna, they bring you back to your original eternal identity Jivara Svarupahai Krishnera Nichidas, as taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The constitutional position of the living entity is that he is the eternal servant of Krishna. So, by chanting regularly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Rama Hare Hare, you actually qualify yourself to go back to your original identity that you once had in the pastimes of the Lord in the spiritual world. And even while you're going there, even while you're here in the material world, trying to qualify yourself to go back, you're also relishing, relishing the bliss. You don't have to wait to go back to God to relish the bliss. Just by chanting these sweet names every day, you will feel great happiness within your heart. So do that. Absorb yourself in chanting Hare Krishna as much as possible. 24 hours a day, at least 16 times around the, the beads every day, at least. So we thank you all so much for tuning in. Hare Krishna.